Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in the Request Project 1999. I am on Tortha, and we are in Blackboro. We're going to be going from level 8 to level 12 today. Some of it is going to be grouping, some of it is going to be questing. The end of it is probably going to be a lot more questing, but huh, let's get right into it. So, whenever I got here, I was sent a message by Dark Thrones asking me if I wanted a group. He is a shaman, same level as me, even keel and everything. And it was really cool to hang out. We were here for a long time. I got level 9, I believe, while I was in the group. You can see I'm already close. Mostly forgot to even start recording when I got here because uh, he sent me that message. We were leveling and I looked down and I said, oh, maybe I should, um, you know, Maybe I should record it or something. So that's what I ended up doing. This was pretty cool. I'm really enjoying leveling this this character. I am running through mana like mad on certain things. I think it's just because of the fact that I'm playing it incorrectly. And you can tell me that. Please tell me that. Please tell me what I'm doing wrong. Please. Anyway, I had a lot of fun. There were times when I was just getting resisted non-stop i have 200 charisma so i should be pretty solid on things i have yet to have a critical fail at all on reds like we um at one point later on we were doing an elite try to pull it i don't think i recorded it but we we're pulling uh one of the commander rooms i think is what they're called it's um if you go past the snake pit and you have, there's the one that's on the right. You go past that one to the big circle room where you have three spawns. Turn right from there. And then there's that other commander's area. Do you, it, I don't know if that really explains it. There is a commander. There is an elite. Two guards. One guardman. And um, I was able to mez. Uh, not mez, but uh, lol. The commander, um, the guardsman, and a guard before um, getting aggro on the elite. The elite came and he was whooping my butt. I couldn't get away from him. I couldn't do anything about it. A lot of the mobs that we killed were between blue and yellow. So it was a really cool um experience the whole time we were doing solid experience there were just times where i had to med he had to med so we that's what we did we just sat down and medded and <laughs> i don't know why i paused there that's weird anyway we continued on and every time we would get to a roadblock of some sort we would just turn around actually um up here we go to, I think this is where we actually get to another elite. And I was able to get it lulled so that I could pull the other three mobs that were around it. And then I mezzed two, rooted them, I think. And we were able to take them on one at a time. Mez probably broke or something. Root probably broke. But we were able to uh, go through that whole situation pretty well. And it was just me and him, or him and I or a uh, language <laughs> and I think that's when we had a bard come by and I made him leader I uh, like I said I was only going to be doing uh, solo and duos um, I made it so that he could decide if he wanted to invite him or not the bard was level 13 so he was higher than us but we would still get experience with him we were able to kill everything pretty easily um, Except for the Elite, and luckily the Bard was there to be able to tank him. Because uh, the Elite was fine with him, but if uh, the thing where we had the other complication, where the Elite had come, I was the only one who was being attacked by it. Nobody else was, and nobody, uh, neither of them, it wasn't that neither of them helped me so much, it was that I didn't give them a chance to. Because as soon as I saw my hill drop to half, I bolted. I was out of there. I wasn't going to stay for that. And um, 
Yeah, so we made sure to uh, be very cautious. You can see here, this is it. This is where we're going to pull the, um, the mobs around the Elite. And I am starting with below half mana. And I think this is going to run me to really low mana. Once we get the Bard in the group, he is, he is pushing for us to keep moving. And I'm not saying that we're not moving with him. Just saying that I could have used a break after that fight. Uh, we open the door to the next area, but I'll show you all that in a little bit. So overview. I mean, you play a character for a little bit of time. You got to have some kind of overview of where you're at with the character. What you're thinking. What is your mindset with the character. Right now, I have to say that I'm enjoying it. I'm seeing the struggle in it. I'm seeing that it is a hard class, especially until you get to uh, the point where you can charm. And even once you get to the level that you can charm, mana is an issue. And I, I've probably brought this up throughout the other videos where there is just a situation where mana is going to be an issue. If you're casting a level 12 spell at level 12, that's going to be a pretty hard on your mana. I mean, you... Even with me, I may be decked out pretty well, but I'm decked out for charisma. I'm not decked out for mana or intelligence specifically. I'm decked out for everything else. So, whenever it comes to that kind of thing, uh, we have um, I'm I'm doing I'm doing the best that I can, but I'm still using my level one and my level four spells mostly. Uh, like the Suffocate spell that I have loaded. That is a level 4 spell. It's not my level 8. Because I don't think I could afford it. I'm rushing through mana so fast. There are also times when I'm overusing my mana. And that is very apparent. Like there was a time. I think even here maybe. Where I rooted a mob. I tashed it. I... After I, I, okay, so I actually, let's start over. I mezzed it, I rooted it, I tashed it, and then I did my, um, my dot, or my damage over time, and until my pet could get to it. That way I could stay back, I was root rotting it, that kind of thing. Probably didn't have to cast tash, the spell was landing on most everything, and I didn't even cast it on uh, the higher level mobs usually. So here we are. We have that uh, elite. And we're trying to decide if we want to try to take it. Normally what we would do is not take it. Um, especially since uh, the fact that I don't have any mana at the moment. This is one of those things that we're... It's, we're going to have to decide, are we going to try to take it and just let the pet kill it, joust in and out so that the pet doesn't die, that kind of thing. And again, like I said, I let him decide if we were going to have the bard join, and we ended up having the bard join. He is pretty cool. I mean, we were able to take on the elite. We were able to take on some other mobs. Later on, there was a situation where he tried to pull... The other guardian room that I was talking about, the one that you, uh, once you get past the snake pit, instead of going straight, you go right or left. And uh, it has a chance to have the, oh, I don't know what the name of that null is. It's the split paw um, white null. I can't remember what it's called. It's I think it's the split paw version of the commander. Either way, um... We ended up, uh, he, he went in there and he was pulling on his own and he ended up pulling the whole thing and, and ended up dying. We did finally get around to clear where his corpse was and, uh, since he was bound close, he just came back and was able to loot it and didn't have any problem there. The whole time I was here, I was still bound in Nariac. Or in Nectalus Forest, to be exact. So, it, whenever we had any kind of comp, uh, complications, I was ready to bolt. I, I was making sure that 
they knew, uh, well, at least, at least Dark Thrones knew, there it goes, I'm, I'm now, uh, level 9, Dark Thrones knew that if there was a situation that was gonna happen, I was gonna bolt for it, because I wasn't gonna stick around. Because of the fact he was level 13, the bard I'm talking about, uh, we were taking on mobs that were much higher, so I was being more cautious in the way that I worked. Um, a lot of time, they uh, the bard would pull after I lulled, and I don't know, uh, the, I think the lull failed, but because of the fact he was 13, not f uh, not 9 or 8, he, uh, he was able to pull it singles without me getting a lull to actually stick. So, uh, we were able to, I mean, it's a whole different story whenever it was myself and uh, Dark doing it, because when we did that area, or the, er uh, the area near the commanders, we did it in a situation where I just let the pet take it. I, I wasn't going to go near that, that cave or that tunnel area where those commanders are because I didn't want to <laughs> didn't want them to come out. I didn't know if attacking that knoll right there next to that tunnel would actually pull them out because I forgot how how long that tunnel was before you reached them. And it, it wasn't very it wasn't like there was really gonna be an issue unless the knoll just decided to bolt straight for that tunnel. And he didn't. Whenever he was um dying he actually was walking away from it. But Either way, I wasn't going to take any uh, any chances. When we went back there, though, um, uh, Razag, he uh, he went ahead and was just pulling him straight up. So we we went ahead and assisted him in that in that. So it, it was pretty good. I had a lot of fun with these guys, but uh, we got to a point I had not gotten very much sleep uh, last night or the night before whenever I'm recording this uh, so I decided that I was going to go ahead and bail and uh, go turn in the teeth that I had and I already had some other things to be able to turn those in so that's what you're going to see next all right so I am going to be leaving this area I got a few teeth so I'm going to turn them in I uh, already started doesn't look like it's going to get me uh, anywhere close to level, but it's going to give me a good amount of experience. I'm at 30% now. It's a good baseline. Get 5% per. That's not bad at all. So let's just turn in the rest of these. Now, if I remember correctly, and I don't really remember correctly, there is a person you can turn these into. But I'm probably going to delete them all. <laughs> Just because I can't remember who you turn them into. I think it's someone at a bar. I'll give it a chance to try to find it. But I'm not going to say that I will. So 65%. That's not bad. Not bad at all at level 9. I don't know where I'm going to be going next. But uh, you will see in just a moment. So enjoy. All right. So I ended up having to leave earlier than I had planned. And um, I don't know if I've been showing it in my videos or anything, but I have a bag that has some things in it. And I am about to go turn those things in and see what level that I can get. I'm almost to level 10 now. I believe what's in my bag will take me up to 12 if not higher. So this is what I come to. <laughs> uh, this is what happens when nobody is camping the orcs, which makes me want to camp the orcs um, because I have my bard here. It's kind of um, funny how they just continue to come at them. Every time one goes down, another one comes up and takes their place. It's kind of interesting that that concept of them there's this constant struggle and you know that one of the citizens is dead that one is about to die and then Ashlyn is the only one to stand to defeat them 
he's doing he's doing strong but he failed at his job I mean he was the one who was supposed to protect them all and here he is he's down to 40 percent and um he is now taking on his last ogre okay or, or, orc <laughs> go ahead and turn these in hello sir I know you like to walk let's walk and talk so how's that weather today eh? <laughs> right. let's go ahead and turn these in and we are at 66% now okay that's a lot of experience and that was very very loud let's go ahead and turn the rest of these in by the way, he's about to walk around the corner, I believe, and then walk all the way back up, and then <laughs> pass, uh, pass back down. Okay, that that is very loud. Let's let's resolve that. Um, yep, there's that. Let's go ahead and stick with him. Of course, we don't want to get hit by an orc. That would be bad. Of course, he is he's persistent in his walking back and forth. Hail! Can I, I can't heal him <clears throat> while I'm trading with him. Okay, let's turn this direction now. This is, this is, <laughs> come on, man. What is your deal? Okay, I got to turn that all the way down, apparently. And I guess we'll turn this down as well. Just for now. Just, just for now. All right. Come on, Ashlyn. Come on, buddy. Come on! I want to give you things. I want to make fashion. Let me turn. Is this it? Is this where you're going? Okay, no, you're going to continue going down. Let's do this. He's stalwart. <laughs> In his pace. Okay. Alright. Looks like we're about to level uh, to 11. Off of this one. So we're definitely going to get 12. I'm guessing that the experience is going to drop off here in the next level. Uh, no, probably not. It's already 11% into level. <clears throat> How do you like this play-by-play? -play? Ashlyn, he's, he's moving over to the bridge. He's there now. He's a um, stalwart in his steps. So that took us to 34. This is absolutely nuts. This is such a good experience. He's now moving backwards. I am moving, or he's moving forwards. I'm moving backwards. Whatever. Oh no, he he, he juked me. He was trying to juke me there. <laughs> Let's get. Come on, man. Stick with the program. It's putting on a clinic over here. All right. You want a muffin? Is that what you want? Is that what's going on here? You want... Uh, don't go that way. Don't go... Of course, you're going to go back this way. Juke. Juking me again. He's going crazy. He's going call crazy. All right. So, if this levels me, this is the last one I'm going to be turning in. Oh, my goodness. You... Okay. I am level 12 now. Still have a stack... I guess I, I could go and turn in. 13 would be safer for me to do with the next area because the next area I'm going to be doing from level 12-ish to 13-ish uh, all the way up to 16. So, uh, yeah, let me let me just go turn them, in, all, turn them all in. There we go. All right. Wow, the experience, I don't know if the experience is going up <laughs> as I turn these in or what's going on. All right, he's on the move again. So I think I'm going to get to 13, maybe 14. This is, uh, this is a powerful quest. That is for sure. Hello. He stopped again. No, he's, oh, I need to move away. <laughs> All right. It's a good choice there. 
All right, well, I'm gonna finish turning these in, I guess, and then we'll go ahead and end out the video. All right, so we're back in Nariac now. I'm getting rid of all the orbs from whenever I did that quest, and I am going to now start putting all my spells in. I wanted to just go ahead and finish out. I wanted to talk about everything that uh, we, we did, uh, what we've been doing. I've gone from level one to level 12 in the last two days. Um, this is uh, three videos, but two days worth of uh, actual recording. Done a lot of work, a lot of leveling. And I've, I've just had a lot of fun while I've been playing the character. So I hope you're having fun. I know it's going to be kind of slow. This one was kind of fast because of the fact that I was able to do the quest to get to level 12. Next is going to be uh, pretty easy because we're going to go from level 12 to level 16. We're not going to relinquish the camp until we're there. And it's going to be probably a long video of just sped up things just because of the fact that you're talking about um, the a cycle that comes up every, I think, each mob has maybe a six minute spawn. There's four mobs. Um, so whatever that comes up to. Anyway, we're going to be doing that next uh, all the way up to 16. And then from 16, we're going to be moving to upper guck and, and, and on. I, I want to make sure that every video... I'm in a new place, in a, in a new zone, doing something. The 16 to 24 is going to be fun. <laughs> or what is it? 16 to... Is it 16 to 24? 17, 18, 19, 20? 20. Maybe it's 20. Anyway, that one will be fun. That will be all in guck. Probably do some soloing there. Um... Uh, but still, give me give me your uh, your list, the things that you want me to go ahead and and do, and I, I'll, I'll I'll do them. <laughs> anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. This is Cipher Deck. Peace out.